you're watching Better.TV. Home, family, life. All right, we've got more help from those of you that are desperately trying to make over your room. You're trying, you're trying, trying, and can't get it right. Well, Stephen St. Ange is Better Homes and Gardens contributing editor. The March issue is on stands now. Welcome back to the show. I love it when you come here. We have fun. We have a lot of fun. We do. We do. People we do. have issues. You've got problems, solutions. We laugh. Not problems, solutions, right? <laughs> Sometimes when you're stressed out about home design, yes. you just get a laugh. You more. have to. You can't take it too seriously, right. right? You gotta have fun with it. All right, you went and recently made over a room or the entire home. Which which of the two? It was a room. It was a room. Give okay. me some time. <laughs> so where was this room at in particular? It was up in the Berkshires, and okay. it was a room that was far from the ocean, mm -hmm. but I was inspired with doing a beach theme. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking about summer coming Exactly. Way, you know? I like the beach. You can never go wrong with exactly. that. You know? Exactly. So let's, when you look at the room, the before was just there. Well, it was playing, a right? perfect example of a room where people put the furniture up against the wall, the yeah. sofa's there, you know, and it's not really inviting. So I tell people, mm -hmm. when you walk into the room, create an area that draws you in. So okay. moving the seating area, moving the sofa into the center of the room and floating it in the center, essentially, right. and rearranging creates a focal point. Which for some people is a bold move because they're thinking, why am I going to put my furniture in the middle of the room? It'll make the room look smaller. But does it really create that effect? Or does it... it does, but it's interesting with this one because it was a blue denim sofa that was mm -hmm. very large and it seemed a little bulky in the space. But okay. the minute we moved it into the center, it seemed to you know, come down in size a bit. So right. that was a great trick visually okay. to take a piece of furniture that might be oversized. How far out of the, away from the wall did you move it? Just well, it's there. actually flipped around to the opposite end of the room, okay. but it, it looks like it's up against the windows when in fact it's a couple yeah, feet away from the windows. So you're creating that illusion. Also, what's important is how you display things. If you've right. got a bookshelf there, you yeah. know, a bookcase that most people would say, all right, I'm going to put what else? Books in there. That's right. it. Well, I think it's a matter of displaying. I mean, if you don't have a designer eye, I mean, think about just playing around with what on the shelves. Okay. I mean, it's a great way to sort of play around with the way the books are laid out, bringing in other accessories right. like the artwork and other props, mm -hmm. but have some fun with it because it really makes a statement in the room. Absolutely. Speaking of making a statement, we know that you're an artist. Yes. You also support a lot of local artists as well. You, is, was that some of the artwork that we saw? Yes, here? actually this artist here is Berkshire based, so it's okay. where we were located for this makeover. And I love that you can really give an opportunity to local artists that mm -hmm. have amazing talent. I right. mean, these paintings in this room really brought the room to oh, life. Definitely. But they also carry on the color scheme that's in mm -hmm. the room and the accent of the beach theme yeah. in many respects. But I love how art really makes a statement. It's a way to bring your personal style mm -hmm. into the room. Into the room, and you yeah. should. It's, a, it's your house. Make exactly. It look like your own. Last but not least, really quick, you did a really cool trick with the cushions on the chair. In the oh, after, sorry. you'll see it in the magazine, in the after second phase of the makeover, we took the back cushions off the blue denim sofa okay. and put in other throw pillows and gave the sofa a whole new look. I love it. Beautiful. All right, we have to make sure we check out your column every single month in Better Homes and Gardens. It's called House Calls. You can That's get more right. information as well as on uh, Better Homes and Gardens website, right? That's right. Thanks, Stephen. Thank Appreciate you. it. I'm going to move that sofa out of the way. Thanks for watching Better.TV. Always on with home, family, life. Email us at ideas at better.tv. Together, we make it better.